You see, for example, mm. if you are a husband and a wife, and uh, your wife keep on resisting you sexually, mm. and for you don't want to go out, yes. mm. and you are pushing him and pushing, and for him he feels he doesn't want to go out, maybe mm. if he has to get sexually transmitted infections, and the excuses you are giving him, mm. to him they are not valid. Yeah. You get that. Mm. But you are not saying you are hapo. <laughs> so there are men who get... Who feel no, enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. And they push you to bed and just have sex with you. Mm. But you see, also, the woman has also failed. Mm. You get that. Eh? The, so you are the one who has actually caused that. Yeah. Because you, you lack knowledge on how to handle the sexuality of your husband mm. in the correct way. Because there's a way to handle your partner. Mm. You know, you know the, his sexual patterns. So you're supposed to, to, uh, to, to have known. And that's why I keep saying one of the things that is very important for a wife mm. is to learn dutiful sex. And I think we'll mm. have to, to teach that another day. Mm. How do you have dutiful sex? Mm. I don't feel like having sex as a woman. Yes. But as long as my husband has sexual feelings, mm. I do the duty of a wife. Yes. Just like I go to work yeah, sometimes. Available. Yeah, mm. sometimes I go to work. And I don't feel like working. Mm. Yes. But because I know it is my duty to report to mm. the office, I go, regardless of how I'm feeling. Mm. Like I was talking to someone who was telling me when he was five years old, mm -hmm. I think five years or six years, he watched a movie and that movie led a man that was staying like in the bush with a wife. And then he kept on telling the wife to have sex with him and he would decline, decline, decline. So one time he went to hunt and found this melon and looked at it. It was his first time to see a melon. And then he started looking at it and cut it and thought of having sex with it. You see, he only watched it on a movie when wow. he was five years. Right now, he's 45 years and he has never married because he usually has sex with Melon. What? Can you see now? What he saw when he was five years was kept in the subconscious mind. When he started now looking for a wife and it seems like it's not possible, the mind re re recalled what he saw in a movie. I'm, 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 so I, the I movies we are watching, mm. the things we are watching and listening, and, and the songs, we have to be very careful. Mm. They can mold you. you. You may not think it's an issue right now, mm. but later on in life, you find that thing being retrieved by your mm. mind, you know, and you start practicing it. And everyone is like, where did you get this idea? I think these mm -hmm. things have a spirit behind them. They are, they are the spirit so of last. Yeah, it's, it's not just about it's the spirit of last. and then staying in your mm. mind. Yeah. This thing comes when you watch it, mm -hmm. it deposits a spirit in you. Yeah, the spirit of last. That, yeah, that helps you now to mm. do what you have never done. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's that spirit of last. It's in the book of First John 2 verse 15. It's mm. very well stipulated mm. that uh, these things are not from God. The, mm. the, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, mm. and the pride of life. So mm. I think that's very true. So we have to be very careful what are the things that we are watching. Mm. So I wouldn't advocate, you know, man to man to have sex, mm -hmm. you know, and even if your heart broken, and even if you had a relationship that failed, that does not mean that you cannot try again. Mm. Yeah, so many of us were heartbroken, but we kept on trusting God for more. And God gave us the right partners. Today we are happily married. Mm. So let's not give up so fast and think that a uh, man to man will work or woman to woman. Because at the end of the day, mm. we are going against nature. Mm. Yes. You know, we are going against nature in the mm. sense that there can never be any, mm. any ma ma multiplication between a man and a man or a woman and a woman. Uh, there is a very thin line between what is right and what is wrong. Mm. But when you are born again and you are a Christian, the Holy Spirit will give you a conviction from within you. Mm. Because I keep wondering, what made Joseph, mm -hmm. a young man of 16 years, in a foreign country, foreign country, not his own country, there was no mother, there was no father, there was no Bible, there was no pastor, there was no fellowship. Mm -hmm. You look at that. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing mm -hmm. godly. Mm -hmm. But this guy gets a woman who is pestering him to sexual, mm -hmm. uh, him, uh, to have sex with, with, with the boss wife every day, mm -hmm. because he kept on pestering her for many days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, 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 and kept on saying, no, mm. I can't do such a thing mm. and such a wicked thing mm. and sin against my God. What is this belief system wow. that was in Joseph, Joseph. at 16 year old? Mm. How many 16 year old boys of today would say no to sexual perversion? Because they know what they are doing is wicked. Now, instead of calling it wicked today, we are saying that I have, I have a great weakness. 
we have turned weak, wickedness to weakness. <laughs> but uh, you know, Pastor Sue, I yes. have this weakness. We are not calling it wickedness. Mm -hmm. we, we look for a name that looks like, mm. that, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and you know, you are not supposed to fight last. Mm. You are not, you are not, there's no verse in the Bible mm. that talks about any human being trying to fight last. You will never win that battle. Mm -hmm. The only fight you're supposed to have is the fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> when someone comes and tells you, that I'm fighting last, how do you fight last? You don't fight last. You run in the name of the Lord. You run away. Yes. You move out of the vicinity. Mm. You buy a phone that has no internet mm. for the next one year. Mm -hmm. Just receive call phones and if your problem is your phone, mm -hmm. you get that. Mm -hmm. eh? You have to run away. Mm -hmm. A deliberate, intentional, mm -hmm. conscious decision mm -hmm. for you to run away from sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. So if Joseph was able to stay chaste mm -hmm. and later on the Bible says that he, he married, that means he was not impotent. Mm. He married and got so many children, almost over 12 children, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. Then this man was not impotent. Mm -hmm. He was also erecting like any other boy. But he knew if he does that, he has messed his generation. Yeah, so we have to be very purposeful. Wow. Yeah, we don't commit, you don't commit fornication mm -hmm. and you don't refuse to commit adultery because of your wife or because of your parent mm -hmm. or because of your pastor. Mm -hmm. You know that this sin will mm -hmm. affect your body. Mm -hmm. And it is your personal responsibility to take care, to take, to, to take, to, to guard your sexual urge. And mm -hmm. I keep telling people, never allow your erection mm -hmm. to determine your direction and your action in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's normal for a man to erect. In fact, a normal man should erect five to 11 times in 24 hours, knowing or not knowing. Mm -hmm. So it's normal to erect. Mm -hmm. But that erection does not mean uki erect tafuta mwanamuke, uki erect dinyana, no. You can say no and tell your body no and speak to your body and tell it to wait mm -hmm. until the right time. Mm -hmm. Because why go scattering all your seeds mm -hmm. everywhere, everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere, everywhere? Mm -hmm. When you need to produce a good seed, mm -hmm. you are bringing a seed that is contaminated mm -hmm. through fornication and adultery mm -hmm. and ruining yourself. Mm -hmm. You're getting that. So mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of making up your mind mm -hmm. and saying, no, I will never commit adultery from mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Some of us who are listening to us, you could be a, a victim of adultery mm -hmm. or fornication, but a time comes mm -hmm. When the truth gets into your heart mm -hmm. and you say, no, enough is enough. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do, I'm not going to be a slave mm -hmm. of sex. Mm -hmm. You so, get it, uh, mom, getting that. I want eh? to, mm -hmm. to maybe add, add something to what you've said before you move to the next point. Mm -hmm. Most of these things are encouraged by environment. You said what you see, what, mm -hmm. you, what you hear. If you have movies that promote maybe pornography, lesbianism, oh, yes. homosexuality, you, you, you start, that's the first place to start from. Wow. If you have phone apps, like Telegram is notorious with such like, mm. me and my husband, we said we are not installing mm. Telegrams. Because you just find yourself in, 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 in a what? In the groups, you may mm. guess what you are there, you're wondering what is happening here. Mm. And mm. some of these people, you know, some of them, you don't know them. It is a, a group that meant well, it is a Bible study, but all of a sudden some things come in that group. So if you feel, if you feel like, don't say that I'm there, but I have the Holy Spirit, mm. I'll watch and nothing will happen. <laughs> they are saying flee. Mm. Please removing these things, mm -hmm. getting away from the vicinity. If it is your TV that keeps popping those things, mm -hmm. if it is your YouTube, start watching things that will add uh, add to you. Mm -hmm. If it is someone, at the end of the day, these things, the more we watch them, our minds get rewired, rewired, rewired subconsciously. Mm -hmm. Start watching something that will make you think otherwise. Over time, you won't have the, the interest again. Mm -hmm. But the more we watch things that are, are profane, the more we get that mm -hmm. and the thirst and the, and the, 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 the it keeps like you are, you are feeding a monster. Mm -hmm. It will keep demanding, demanding, very Money true. Until you are wasted, you, you can't feed it, and it is like endless pit. Yeah. Mm. So remove those things that keeps exposing you to such like. If it mm. is you are in a group, a WhatsApp group is not serving you. Conversation around there is about sleeping anyhow, mm. or people dating any anyhow, mm. get out of that group. So protect your in physical environment. Then with the time, you will be able to protect your yeah yeah. yeah. Last, yeah. last time, mm. you said that. Mm. Uh, Young girls call they want married men mm. because they are mature. Mm. Then you define for us what maturity means. Mm -hmm. yes. Men, uh, ladies came crying. They say that now, what about boys who are looking for anti Waharia? Mm. These boys mm. who are looking for all the women, they don't, they're young, they're they are saying that uh, these old women don't have noise. Mm. 
There's no mm. quarreling, there are no demands. Mm. They give you peace of mind. Is mm. it peace of mind the way the other ones are calling it? <laughs> I but think just, I still we are going back to fornication because mm. now mm. if you get a married woman mm. or, a, or a window, mm. you're actually fornicating. You who is a young person, you're actually fornicating with this guy and this, and this woman is, is committing adultery mm. because already maybe she has a husband mm. or had a husband. Mm. You're getting that. Eh? Mm. At the end of the day, what happens? You are the one who is being wasted time there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and all what this woman wants is sexual pleasure. Mm. And uh, no other reason what keeps you nothing keeps you because this woman cannot deliver children mm. maybe she's past the menopause mm. you're getting that yes. you are not giving her anything <clears throat> she's the one who is funding you even giving you her car to drive and all that mm. so at the end of the day you are the one who is being wasted as a man mm. you get that and that you realize that when it is too late mm. that this woman just took you as a sex you're actually a sex object mm. you're actually a sex yeah. object. you are being abused sexually you get that because this woman has nothing to lose you are the one who is losing because instead of going to your age mate and, and making friends and having a relationship mm. that will end to marriage, you are now wasting your time with an old woman here. Mm. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, whether you are a lady or you are a man, you are both losers. Mm. You yeah. are getting that. And, this, and mom, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe just to add, eh, mm -hmm. in every action, mm -hmm. a human, there is a law in the universe, one of the universal laws mm -hmm. that says there is a law of cause and effect. Mm. Action, if you reaction. choose to date your, your age mate, there, there are effects, repercussions. Mm. If you choose to date old grannies who are having diabetics, uh, diabetes and such like, there are also effects. So you weigh. If you, the, the, the cost of taking five years dating this old granny whom you will be massaging and sending you errands and you look like a small boy and you have a sense of, no sense of direction and also building something with the person who is of your age, you can think mm. like a, a normal person the cost mm -hmm. then you are dating this auntie wahari at what cost mm -hmm. at the expense of your future you will mm -hmm. be given some vids rakona kimbia nayo this some uh, most of these boys they don't want to take responsibility mm -hmm. they believe in shortcut and there is nothing like shortcut in life you will mm -hmm. go and then come back and come start back all over again where you should mm -hmm. have started long five years ago yeah. so it is a waste of time dating this old old man some of them are married some of them you are boy number five in the list because if you are just coming there for that, another boy will do it more than you. So you are wasting your time. You, you are the, and apart from that, you are also collecting energies that this show, show has had all since. Exactly. So this one is, I, I can't even talk about that. Yeah. Rape in marriage. Yes. She yes. talked about husband mm. raping her. Yeah, rape is also something that is mm -hmm. forbidden. Mm. Because rape is where you use force mm. uh, to have sex with someone. You know, you coerce them, you force them, you, you compel them mm. to have sex, you know, if despite them declining. Mm. And it's a very painful experience, especially if done to a man through sodomy or done to a girl or a woman without your consent. It means now you have no consent. That sex is not allowed. Mm. If you remember uh, in the book of uh, Genesis 13, I think it talks about Amnon mm -hmm. and, Tama. and, and Tama. Tama. Immediately after Amnon had sex, although it was incest, and the, the, he raped he raped the sister and after that the bible says he hated her more than the way he wow. he loved her before so he, he, rape gives the person who, has, who is a victim a lot of hatred towards bitterness, toward bitterness towards yeah. the person who has the done anger. it mm. so if you are a lady you have bitterness against men mm. and vice versa mm. so rape is not something that should be mentioned and if you have also gone through that we are here to help you and walk the journey with you and make sure that you heal because those wounds can affect your relationship for Forever. You find you're not able to bond with the opposite sex, you're not able to bond. Anytime you remember that, it brings such bad memories. And I know boys who are raped when they were very young, also girls who are raped when they were very young. I also know women who have also been raped even when they're in marriage, mm. for circumstances one or the other. But you can heal out of it. The word of God can be able to heal you up, get a confident you can, you can uh, confine to, let them walk the journey with you and heal from your past because we said God does not dwell in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible mm -hmm. says in the book of Isaiah 48 verse 18 mm -hmm. that behold I'm doing a new thing. Mm -hmm. You know, forget the former things. Mm -hmm. God cannot do something new mm -hmm. and at the same time you also want to hold on your past. Yeah. Even Paul said in the book of uh, uh, Philippians that uh, 
uh, one thing I do is to forget about the former things mm. and to press on. Mm. So you need someone who can help you to press on to your future mm. because rape is very devastating. Mm. It leaves a lot of wounds, it leaves a lot of regrets. Mm. You, you condemn yourself, you feel like there's something you'd have done to avoid mm. this. So if you're there, that is something that God has forbidden, but human beings mm. by their willpower, mm. which is not renewed by the word of God, can continue you know, using that. Mm. There are people who are who are serial rap uh, rapists. Mm -hmm. They rape here, they rape here. Even mm -hmm. they are thieves. Mm -hmm. They are thieves who have gunned up. Mm -hmm. Any place they go and they find a woman, they must rape. Mm -hmm. You get that. Mm -hmm. eh? So at the end of the day, you find they leave people who are wounded. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is something that is happening. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if to, you know, we know the law, mm -hmm. that if today you are caught having raped someone, mm -hmm. you will stay in prison. Why? Because your DNA will be found mm. in your private parts. Mm. So also the law has also taken it very seriously. We're also having children being raped by mm. their fathers. Mm. You know, uh, women take, being taken advantage by their employers. Yeah. You know, being told that for me to give you a job, mm. you have to give in to sex. That is mm. rape. Mm. Because the lady did not want, she came to, for a job, mm. she never came for sex mm -hmm. exchange. Mm. So there's a lot of rape going in, in worldwide. Mm. And I think that's something that... Mm. Uh, we need to say that it is mm. not it is forbidden mm. in the word of god mm. and it's also forbidden among human mm. beings mm -hmm. but it is still practiced mm. now oh, yes. in the, the setup of marriage mm. yes apart from the man being maybe we can say uh, he was a narcissist mm -hmm. because narcissists are extremely selfish mm. people mm. and the world revolves around them mm -hmm. so there could be do you think there could be another reason a man could rape the wife if that man is not a narcissist yeah, mm. there's, you see, for example, mm. if you are a husband and a wife, and uh, your wife keep on resisting you sexually, mm. and for you don't want to go out, yes. mm. and you are pushing him and pushing, and for him he feels he doesn't want to go out, maybe mm. he fears to get sexually transmitted infections, and the excuses you are giving mm. him, to him they are not valid. Yeah. You get that. Mm. But you are not saying you are a <laughs> So there are men who get who feel no, enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. And they push you to bed and just have sex with you. Mm. But you see also the woman has also failed. Mm. You get that. Eh? The, so you are the one who has actually caused that. Yeah. Because you, you lack knowledge on how to handle the sexuality of your husband mm. in the correct way. Because there's a way to handle your partner. Mm. You know, you know the, his sexual patterns. So you're supposed to, to, uh, to, to have known. And that's why I keep saying one of the things that is very important for a wife mm. is to learn dutiful sex. And I think we'll mm. have to, to teach that another day. Mm. How do you have dutiful sex? Mm. I don't feel like having sex as a woman. Yes. But as long as my husband has sexual feelings, mm. I do the duty of a wife. Yes. Just like I go to work yeah, sometimes. Available. Yeah, mm. sometimes I go to work. And I don't feel like working. Mm. Yes. But because I know it is my duty to report to mm. the office, I go, regardless of how I'm feeling. Mm. Yes. So I think that's a topic we can talk about, about dutiful sex, and what are the benefits, what mm. are the pros and cons. Mm. So that's something, that it, it happens in marriage many times. Mm. Especially when you have a husband who feels so pressured by the mm. wife. Mm. Or uh, now the, uh, the unfortunate is a woman is very hard for a woman to rape the husband. Mm. Because if the penis does not stand, then how will you, <laughs> will you <laughs> have sex with this man? Mm -hmm. yeah. But you see now for a woman it's just penetration. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it happens so much to the women. Mm -hmm. But these are women who have resisted, resisted their mm -hmm. husbands. And the husbands feel no. I think you are playing around with me. Mm -hmm. So they feel no. Now, Liwe Riwalo, Lazima. So you find there is rape also in marriage. I think mm. just like uh, she has said, mm. Mm -hmm. it's important that uh, if one has gone through mm -hmm. rape, yes. to, to seek for help. Oh, yeah. So I think it is important one to seek for help. Wow. And you don't just sit there and think that all is gone. Mm. And maybe the reason why you are where you are mm. is because there's something you are going through oh, yes. that happened when you are 10 years, mm. uh, maybe with your relative, mm. you know, maybe Maybe you end up with Mahari. People messed up with, with you. you, or maybe you are in a prison, and mm. things happened. You no, know, things happen mm. all over. Yeah, yeah. What you're yeah. saying is very mm. true, Pastor. Exactly. A, a rape can yeah. give a person mm. a lot of bitterness. Exactly. Yeah. Like there's a lady who opened mm. up to to me, and she called me and told me, "I just hated you from when the Twatwa clip began to mm. to to be viral. Yeah. I hated you because mm. I was wondering what is this that you are talking about. Well, me, I was raped by my my uncle, raped by my dad, raped. She had, and her life is a serial mm. rape. Mm. So anytime anybody talks about mm. sex for her. She can call you any name. And mm. I would see on, on, on my comments, she would comment very badly. 
Then one time I just felt I want to follow this girl. Mm -hmm. So I started telling her, excuse me, hi, can we have a side talk? Is there something that happened in your life? Mm. Kumbe, this girl, the reason why she's commenting so negatively mm. over every teaching about sex is because she's so wounded. Mm. She has a lot of seated bitterness. Mm. And she feels nobody should ever talk about sex because to her, it is dirty, it is ugly, mm. it gave her pain. Mm. You see? So some of these uh, comments we see on social media mm. when we are talking about sex and mm. you wonder, why would someone be this bitter and mm. put an article? Mm just to attack you. Mm. Kumbe, they are relieving some inner pains mm. that they have never had someone whom they can. Mm. You have triggered a wood in them mm. that mm. they have never had someone to empty out mm. and, and vent out and heal. Mm. So if you are there and you have gone through everything that we have mentioned mm. in the show, kindly reach us and we're going to help you mm. because that one is very, very, very possible. So ma'am, oh, yes. just 30 seconds final words. Yes. I want to say this, mm. that uh, all the forbidden sexual uh, 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 topics that we have talked about, we are not the people who are forbidding them. Mm -hmm. It is the God who created uh, the vagina and the penis, mm -hmm. and he has said how we are supposed to use them. Mm -hmm. And so if you're there and you feel like you have been a victim of one or two things, I want to let you know that there is hope. Mm -hmm. And we are here to bring hope, and we have a team even behind us, mm -hmm. whom if you feel you are not free with us, we can also refer you to mm -hmm. someone, and it is going to be private and confidential, and we are able to walk the journey with you and be able to heal. I want to say this to the, to the young men and women mm. who are dating, you know, old men and old women. Dating a married man or a married woman or a single woman or a windowed man is like driving a government car that will never be yours. So why don't you trust God as a young person that God is going to give you a wife? Why don't you trust God? as a young lady, that God is going to give you a husband. And let's not enter into relationship of marriage with the money door. Money door has destroyed so many things. Let us enter through the door that God created, and it's always the best, the love door. Mm -hmm. So my, my parting shot is marriage works. But you need knowledge for you to work it out. God bless you. Everything that God gave you has a reason and a purpose. Everything that God created and everything that God gave you. When you use what God has given you in a long way, you are misusing, you are abusing. Mm -hmm. And that's why God will judge you because he has said how you should use what he has given you. Are you using your organs, the parts of your body, in the right way, in accordance to the word of God? If you are not doing so, you require help. Call us. Give us a call. We are ready to help you. Oh, yes. We are ready to take you through so that you can fulfill your purpose for your life. God bless you. Thank you for staying with us all this while. We hope you've been blessed, just like my husband and I mm -hmm. have been blessed as well. Before you do anything, count the cost. Before you date that old woman, count the cost. Mm -hmm. If you are ready to, if you, if you, before you become that homosexual, count the cost. Are you ready to walk on pampers, diapers? Before you cheat on your husband, count the cost mm -hmm. of opening up your soul as a portal to carrying every other energy, delayed destiny. Count the cost of spending on someone who is not your loved one. Count the cost of spending your time, emotion on people that do not benefit you. Be blessed, keep tuning to our stories, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Wow. I want really to appreciate the whole team today. Yes. Yes. Mostly mom and dad, and even my wife, for the big uh, knowledge you've given us today. Yeah. This was an educative session, mm -hmm. and I know you also learned from this. This is an episode you need to, to at least watch twice or three mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. to get this in your mind. Mm -hmm. Let us be people who are, uh, we, we, we are, we are, thoughtful of the next generation. Mm -hmm. That tomorrow I want to be a father, I want to be a mother. I want to be a husband, I want to be a wife. So how are you carrying out yourself today? Let us know that the vagina is not, cannot talk. The penis cannot eat. They're not organs to use, that, that are specifically meant for, for sex. Mm -hmm. Your mouth is for eating, mm -hmm. not a sexual organ. We learned that wow. today. Your wow. mouth is not a sex organ. Mm -hmm. It's meant to speak, 
and to talk and to pray to God. Let us not uh, uh, interchange God. this uh, th this organ that God has given us. He knew why he gave you a penis and he gave you a vagina and he gave you an anus. Why did he make it one? And as Miles Muro says, anus is exit only. Exit only. Nothing is used to get in. Until next time, this is Naked, Naked and Not Ashamed Show. show.